Gravity, starring Sandra Bullock and George Clooney, is the best atmospheric movie that I have seen all year. The movie is shot and directed so perfectly that it grips you and makes you feel as if you're actually in space. This is one of my favorite movies of the year, and really the last few movies that I've seen, Prisoners, Don John, and Gravity, have been so unique and good that it really feels as if we're in the Oscar mode right now. This is generally when Oscar movies start coming out, and it's really been feeling like that. And I would probably say, though, that I would still prefer Prisoners over Gravity. However, I would give Gravity the nod for one of those rare movies that everybody needs to see that only comes around every few years, and Gravity is certainly one of those. It's about a crew of astronauts uh, that are in space that come into some complications, and that's really all you need to know. However, the cool thing about this movie is that you only see Sandra Bullock and George Clooney's character. You hear like three other characters' voices, but you never see them. And that is hard to pull off a two-person movie, but it's it, it, they completely did it in this. You do not care that you do not see any other characters. You are so invested in these two characters uh, that it, it, other characters do not matter. And I, I, there are so many high praises that I could give for this movie. The only negative that I would say is that if you're easily disoriented or you, you, know, you get car sick or seasick, this might not be the greatest movie to go see in theaters in 3D like I did. I went there with my girlfriend and there were a few times where she had to look away and just, you know, fo not focus on the movie. Uh, and then she could resume watching the movie. She stayed for the entire movie and it's actually one of her favorite movies as well. But uh, she did admit that she had to look away. The, granted, that is because there was 3D involved and the way that the movie is shot. That's also one of the positives of the movie is the way that it's shot because it's so realistic. It really feels... There have been other space movies before where, you know, there's astronauts, there's no gravity. It gets the point across that they're in space. But this is the first movie that really felt as if the director went into space with these two actors and just filmed the movie there. That's how well this movie was shot. And now all the praises. This is an Oscar movie. It should get Best Visuals, but be nominated for Best Visuals. If not win Best Visuals, it should be nominated for Best Picture, Best Director. Sandra Bullock should get a nomination for Best Actress in this movie. And George Clooney should, in the very least, get a nomination for Best Supporting Actor, if not win Best Supporting Actor. Because his character in this movie is the definition of a Best Supporting role to a T. He is only there to aid uh, Sandra Bullock, and he's not in the entire movie, like, he, he comes in and out from the movie, but every time that he does, you want more of him, and he's just such a good supporting role uh, for Sandra Bullock. Their chemistry in this movie was perfect. I, I cannot give them high enough praise for that as well. This movie is just like, I, like I'm trying to say, it's just an amazing movie that you need to see. The only thing, like I said, if you do get easily disoriented, maybe wait until it is out on Blu-ray or DVD and watch it at home. If, if you are not one of those persons that gets easily disoriented though, I highly recommend going to see this in theaters to get the full effect because it is phenomenal. And the music as well, the score for this should be nominated as well because this rivals in Inception. The Inception, wow, that music, oh my goodness. Every time that the complication would arise in this movie, that music would come on and it, oh, it set the mood Oh, I, I cannot even describe it. This this beats the Inception music. I loved it. It was so, so spot on. So anyway, I give this movie an 8 out of 10, but I, this is the most highly recommended movie that I say for the year. Everything I've seen this year, this is the one I, I, I say you need to see at some point in time. So thank you all for watching. You've been Bearded In. Beardage!